Hello, welcome. It was requested that I do a video in my bar. So here we are doing a video in the bar. It's gonna be a review video of this helmet. It's a pretty cool helmet. It's the Schubert C3 Pro, you know. Now, if you're here for a professional review by somebody who's getting paid to say all of this, or somebody that has any idea what they're talking about, that, that's probably not me. But if you would like an honest review of somebody who bought this helmet and uses this helmet and bought it because they were on a budget and turn out this helmet is amazing and we're just gonna like talk about it because I love this helmet, then you've come to the right place. Now look, this helmet has features, okay? I don't know them all. But I do know it's very lightweight, very comfortable. It seals off your entire neck head area. It's very cushy, gives you hugs everywhere. It is a modular helmet. It's very aerodynamic, blocks out a lot of wind noise. It's got an internal visor. I like to use that. It's got some really cool venting. I'm sorry, I, I didn't memorize all the, the stuff about it. But you know, we're gonna put that over here for you to, to read, because memorizing that stuff is for people who get like thousands of likes and get paid to do this. So. <laughs> Hope you got all your facts. We are gonna take this thing on the road, or we did yesterday, I, I'm not doing it now. I did that portion of it yesterday. But why don't we have a nice overview of the helmet, huh? We'll, sh we'll show you the things, stuff about it. I talk about price yesterday and a little bit when we take it for a spin. Got a really good deal on it. It's a really nice helmet. I love this helmet. It's my favorite helmet I've ever had. So without further ado, let's yesterday take this bad boy on the road, huh? Huh? Hey look, we're on the motorcycle. Wearing that helmet that guy was talking about. Yeah, have the Schubert. C3 Pro, pretty cool. Just a quick rip around the airport today. I live like right outside the Cincinnati airport. And if I just wanna go for a quick cruise, you know, I'll go around it. It's got a couple different routes and I'll just travel around it, you know. Go look at some aeroplanes at the uh, viewing area. Beautiful weather we're having, yes. 61 degrees and clear and sunny. So right now we're about 60 miles per hour and this helmet does a great job of diverting the wind. I love it. Any other helmet I've ever had. Granted, I do have a fairing now, but I've also ridden this bike with four, four or five different helmets and this is, this is amazing. I love it. I love this helmet. I've been riding with it for about a month now. I think I could say whether it does a good job or not. And you know, it does a pretty good job. My head's not all shaking around everywhere, but we are gonna hit the interstate for just a minute. Uh, to cross the border to Mexico. I'll show you guys how, how well it keeps the noise down, uh, the, the shaking, just beating your head all over the place. You really don't get that with this helmet. It has great aerodynamics, which having the camera and the, the cardo kind of cancels a little bit of that out, but still, even with all that, I think it does a mighty fine job. That's the end of one of the runways right there. And also, this mic does a great job of cutting out the wind noise. Even if it was a very windy helmet, you would still get uh, quite a lot. And it's, uh, it's pretty 
windy right now because it's, you know, icky. And it looks great. I love the look of this helmet. I don't know what all the guy down at the bar said. He didn't do that until tomorrow. He probably gave you some stats of, you know, like what it weighs and different color options or something. I, I'm not sure. I, I can't tell you any of that right now, but it's, my goodness, it's very light. So I just wanted to do a quick rip because I did just get off and it's going to be getting dark soon and it's kind of chilly out and it's kind of icky looking out. But I still wanted to get out for a minute and talk to you guys because I love y'all. And my bike's pretty loud. I feel like on the last couple videos that I uh, had this helmet on, you didn't hear it too much. I mean, you heard it, but it's not overbearing. That guy thinks I want to race. Oh man, I'm just, I'm just being loud. You ain't got to take off. Go get yourself arrested. You want to race? Crossing over to Mexico here in just a minute. I'll give you a race, old boy. Da, 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 da. When you're just chilling, you have it like this. It clicks in pretty well. It stays. Even at high speeds, it'll just stay like this. Pretty nice. But it's kind of chilly today. And that's what I, another thing I love about this helmet is it doesn't have a chin curtain. It's just got a full, like, the whole thing is hugging you. And that takes a minute to get used to because I hate when things touch my neck. Hate it. And I thought it would be an issue, but after the, the first two or three rides on this thing, it, it ain't a thing. I mean, if I think about it, it's still there, but you know. Border Patrol don't get me. We're just going to do a real quick one on the interstate. The, the few reviews I watched on this helmet those guys did a really great job but uh, I don't think any of them lived in a place where they could easily access the interstate one was like a, a guy on an adventure or a dual sport and the other one was in like Italy like in some small Italian town it's pretty neat so I didn't see any of them hitting the interstate and like high wind noise that one guy got up to like 60 or 65 or something and I will say, also, on a chilly day like this, when I'm breathing a little harder because it's a little chilly, the pin lock. The pin lock is a must. Oh, I didn't touch on the ventilation while I was up on going fast. That's the only negative thing I have so far, and uh, the other videos, those guys will agree. It's not the greatest vent ventilation. It's got good vent venting. I will give it that. I mean, you feel it. When you open it, you do feel it. Uh, the top has different settings. I think let's see yeah it's got like a higher and a lower more open more closed type deal the bottom one is just one little flap without the visor you feel it a lot better but I like to wear the visor down and you only feel it a little bit 
and even then it's just a gentle breeze which is I haven't had an issue with it here's the airport I was gonna stop right here you can see uh, at the other end of this stoplight there's a viewing area and you can go watch the planes take off and land but I'm tired and I would like to be home when I stop at the stop signs I like to you know I like to pull the visor up a bit and breathe and then of course it's modular so you can flip up the top which that guy down at the bar probably explained to you uh, tomorrow I can't do it right now because I'm I got my mic plugged in don't want to yank my mic out but in case you want to look super duper cool you can always lift the front up and impress all your friends now it did mention that this mic does an amazing job of uh, blocking out background noise and wind noise and it it picks you up really well over the loud mic that's gonna be a different video I want to do a video of like I have finally gotten good moto vlogging audio I had it once it was kind of a pain in the ass. I used the, uh, the separate recorder. I had a different helmet. Uh, and then I went to the, the medium mod with a different mic. And that still worked pretty well on that original helmet. And then I switched to my HJCI-90 and honey, I'll tell you, all sound quality went straight out the door. Here's a clip of that. new Insta360 camera. So I uh, ditched the mic I was using, which was a Turtle Beach headset mic. It was okay. It got me started. It was like 20 bucks. Um, the biggest complaint I have about it is it only recorded at one channel. So when I'm editing, I'd have to uh, extract the audio and turn it into a, a stereo file, you know, where it plays both sides. This one, um, records both channels and it's very small it's tiny you wouldn't think it has that kind of power but I've never heard it pop or crack or anything no matter how loud it gets the only issue that I have and it's not a, a mic or a helmet problem I think it's the GoPro problem because I record through my GoPro I don't know yet I haven't solved it it's the popping in between cuts when I cut my clips you get a little you get a little pop that's very annoying. Some people say they don't notice it. I notice it big time. And I've tried crossfading and that just kind of gives this weird little static sound. I'm dealing with the pop for now. And with this helmet and this mic, it has improved and I like that, but it's still there. But back to the helmet. It's a really great helmet. <gasps> aeroplanes! All of the aeroplanes. They just built the, the Amazon hub. It's like the one of the main US Amazon hubs right there and I live like right at the end of it. That's DHL, Amazon, all that. What was I saying? Oh, it's Derby Day and here's the uh, horse park, the Turfway Horse Park. They're re remodeling, they tore it down and they're rebuilding, but they still have a track. I don't know if they're doing anything right now, but it's Derby Day. What was I saying again? Oh, so this is of course the uh, the Schubert C3 Pro and they now have the C5 and 5 Pro which I've heard the C3 was really uh, really works well for like cruising and fairing bikes I'll agree because that's what I have and I love the helmet the 4 or the 5 from what I've heard I, I've not bought these helmets because I cannot confirm it I really haven't looked into them because I bought this one because you know budget but I think that the four or the five or maybe both I don't know are more aimed at a sport touring type of riding or wind deflection or something something of that nature see here's the uh, Amazon hub We're still building stuff up there and when I say budget I got a great deal on this thing I paid $314 and I'll, I'll put the website down here because I don't remember it. But it came from the Netherlands and it really only took like a week, week and a half to get here. Not bad at all. But checking the prices on Revzilla or trying to get it domestically. Oh, that's terrible prices. Revzilla was up like five, six hundred bucks. 
I even saw it somewhere for 800 which is like the original retail value of this helmet. Heck no. I'm going to put that website down there. Who even are you? That's probably another spam person. Freaking... I don't even know you. But I'll put the website that I got it from down there. $314 versus upwards of $800. That's insane. That's what they charge for these things when they're brand new. Like five years ago. Anyway. Is this helmet worth it? Does this helmet still hold up to the newer helmets? I don't know. I haven't had the newer helmets. But I will say, I love this helmet. It's so comfortable. It hugs you everywhere. It's got great padding. You can shake your head all over the dang place. And it stays nice and tight. The ventilation, as I mentioned, not the best. It's a little warm, but it does good enough. It's good enough for me. I don't suffocate. So I'm gonna give this thing like a, I'll give it like a four and a half just because of the ventilation. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels, I love the way it fits, I love the weight. It's the lightest full face or modular helmet that I've ever had. It's fantastic. It's like three point something pounds. The guy at the bar told you earlier that we'll record that tomorrow. He's weird. He doesn't, it's, what, a, you'll see. He's, he's, he's goofy, or you saw, I don't know, saw that he was goofy. What a weirdo. But I am too close to my house now to show y'all where I live. So that's the Schubert, 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 C3 Pro Modulor. And uh, I will recommend this helmet all day, every day. Okay, that wasn't your turn, but all right, you go ahead. That's cool. If you're watching, your mom's a whore. So thanks for riding along and checking out the helmet and looking how cool I look. <laughs> and we'll see you next time, huh? I love you guys. Subscribe if you like. Like if you like. Comment if you like. Do, just do whatever you want. You don't have to do any of it. Probably not even still here. Good helmet. Love you guys. See you next time.